talk about if we... Uh, oh, I see actually, my little ponytail when I turn my head. Sorry, I'm just, I just noticed myself. There on TV it is. Down there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could I could eliminate that ponytail yeah, real know. quick. Uh, yeah, I Mel think at work. I have to say hi to Mel since he watches all the time. Mel and hey, Jay, Mel. and so Melvin he he comments every day on on what I've got on and what I'm going to wear on you. TV. He critiques me. Yeah, Mel I mean, Hatcher. I mean, he has no uh, no no desire to critique me because I'm, no, per- I'm perfect. No, he never mentioned you really. Uh, well, no, he hasn't said that. But anyway, <laughs> it's Dr. Mel Hatcher over there at campus. <laughs> Mel's um, our site constructor, and he. Uh, works What's in the psych? psychology, our oh, psychology. psychology. Yeah, and his office is next to mine, and it is a joy to be around Mel. Is he, that right? Mel's a character. He, there's never a dull moment. I got Clement across the hall and Jim down the hall. I work with a great group of people. That's good. And so uh, we've added Troy Lane on our our end, and then uh, Steve Johnson. Steve says he's been TVing us or DVRing us or whatever. So say hi to Steve and Betsy. Uh, we need to do the Willard Scott thing and wish people a happy birthday. Uh, when they're hundred years old. Well, or whatever. I mean, you know, of course, I wish Aunt Lane uh, a birthday. You have birth next week. We'll be celebrating your birthday. Uh, next Monday, I think. Yeah, because your birth. No, your birthday's the twenty seventh. It's the week after, but we'll celebrate it next Wednesday because the show will be airing during your birthday. Oh, okay. And then you can celebrate. Well, you work it out. I'm not going to so be involved I'll, with it. I'll warn you that you need to You're, be ready to celebrate. December, no, November, November 2nd, 9th. 9th. November okay. 9th. So we will be Seven celebrating days. it on like the seventh. What kind of party are we going to have? Uh, Suzanne is throwing me a birthday party. Oh, well, good. Yes, Suzanne is throwing me a birthday party. You know, if she was any friend at all, she would have this uh, birthday party for me, too. That's true. Well, Suzanne watches every Suzanne. Dan would like yeah, a party, look at too. Yeah, uh, But anyway, Suzanne's throwing me a birthday party. Um, so we're we're going to do that uh, that weekend. And this weekend, um, of course, it'll be over by the time this airs. But uh, Suzanne and Roberta and Lisa and I are going down for the Susan Coleman uh, breast oh, race, cancer yeah. run. That's yeah. this. It'd be in my eleventh year. Yes. Yeah. Eleventh year. That's a fantastic. I used to run event. with your daughter, but she's in. Yeah, she's in, in Denver now. now. And then Ashley and I did a try for the cure when I was out there raising money for breast. It's a lot of fun. We have a good. Yeah. Lisa is our breast cancer survivor, and so we go down there as Lisa's ladies, okay. and that's lots of fun. Okay. So that's this weekend. I'm mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. So. All, all kinds of fun. So while you're like what hanging out in the barn with not goats any longer, you've gotten rid of goats. Uh, chickens. I have chickens. You have, now. You have chickens now. The other day we have a rooster. You didn't know you had a rooster, Daniel? Well, I don't know. How do you know that you got? Well, a rooster? I don't know. I mean, they look like roosters once they, they used to, get I big. Had, I had a chicken in there that was crowing. I go, huh? I guess that's a rooster. He was crowing, man. He was going after it. Oh, okay. Well, I can I can deal with that. But no, that that's it. So that's my big excitement. But you can tell I don't know much about them. I don't know anything about you. I don't want I anything about you. you. I don't like chickens. Chickens scare me. I don't like chickens. Why is that? Because when I was a little girl, don't ever do this to your children. When I was a little girl, don't, my don't grandmother, uh, who was a wonderful woman, but who did not want me in the chicken house, she used to tell so me she locked you in. She, there. No, she would tell me not to go in the chicken house because she said those chickens will peck your eyes out. You don't tell a little three year old <laughs> that. So thanks to my. Oops. Uh, who passed away back in 1969? Uh, she's, she's been gone. I still have chicken phobias, thanks to grandma. Chicken phobias. Because grandma would say, "Don't go in there uh, because they'll they'll peck you." Jump on your peck. She didn't want me. I guess maybe getting on a snake or she something like want, that. She didn't want you hurt. Exactly. Because she, uh, some of the roosters, they have those spurs on their feet. I guess they, they can attack. Yeah. Jump up the closest attack. thing I ever came was a goose got after me one yeah, time. Yeah, the goose. Oh, they. I don't like goose. Oh geese. yeah, and that little like tongue gooses, comes out. And geese, at you. Whatever. Geeses and gooses Goose. and whatever. Uh, yeah, th- those are dangerous farm animals. But cows, Daddy has cows and things. Those sort of things don't mm-hmm. bother me a bit. But I don't like chickens. Well, as always, I can rely on you to to burn up some time, and we're yes, to- we're out of time. We're totally out of time. My chicken phobia. In fact, Mel, Doctor Hatcher, he can work with me. He's a psychologist, and I'll get over my chicken phobia. So I don't think so. No, pro- probably not. I think not. you're incurable. I, I'm incurable of something, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm getting signs of like... Yeah, it's not contagious, folks. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Look at me. <laughs> it's, it's Thanks not me for watching. Thank you for all the guests being on the show today, and we'll see you again next see time. See you next week. Bye.